So let's see. What is Chum going to teach us? Use binoculars to scout areas from a distance. <clears throat> yeah, good cover. Perfect place to build a car. Okay. Come, come, Sight. Yes, I have much to show you. Drive to Chum's hideout to continue the story. All right. What is this place? You are in the outer graves. Over there is the great white. An ancient seabed. I'm not sure. No, but we are at the bottom. It doesn't get any lower than this. All right, this is hideout inside this big empty. I guess it used to be a plane, maybe, right? Or some kind of a, maybe a tanker. Huh. <clears throat> Chum Bucket's hideout. Can we please name this guy something else? It's disgusting. <laughs> when you're ready, Saint, my holy hideout awaits. He's going over there. What's over here? Anything? I guess this is all his personal belongings. Wow, what a great place. Bunch of garbage. Come, behold. All right, here we go. Start the mission. Come and see. Huh? Come. Come and see your sight. Huh? The dream. The hallucination becomes truth. The angel made steel. By the fire that moves the piston, by the tranny on all high, by the cam and the huge joint, blessed be, uh, there she lies, the magnum opus. So that's what he built, that piece of garbage. <laughs> there she is. Oh my god, it's terrible. This ain't her car. It's just a mess of parts. No, no, no. She's knowledge from the numinous, divinely inspired. She wills herself upon this world. Uh, look. See? Here, divine meets drive shaft and a symbiosis of faith. But it ain't made to measure. You might say with that old time religion, huh? I got a classic whammy turbo high dog, huh? Hell yeah! Bulletproof and torture tested, aesthetically upgraded with chum bucket overdrive. Coils, and springs, and shocks, and links too. Uh. It's gonna be eight cylinders, nothing less. Yes, we will get there. Yes. First, we have to get her. Beautiful body. Oh Chum boy. Birds. Chum Bucket's one of these car yes. aficionados. Yeah. Never understood like these people. Come on, see. We must go. Well, it drives. Huh. I'll be damned the thing works. Look. Magnum opus. We will liberate her body from a place sad and strange. I don't know where we're going. Of old one to die. Let's go in the dead of night. Map. A scavenging location. Oh, I want to check that out and then we'll go over there. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty crazy in an apocalypse. What they would do is revert back to technology that didn't need electricity, and cars are one of them. You know, although they need a battery, there's other ways, other chemicals and things you could do to make chemical reactions to make a car. You know, work, especially the old school cars. Oh, hello. Don't hello. Do something. Damn. Well, he got fucked. All right, now we can steal all their shit. So technically what we did, we just we came out here and robbed them. Seriously, like, this is their house and we just fucking robbed them. Yoink. Damn, that was a lot of scrap, dude. Anything else? Rob their asses. Rob them blind. What about in here? Aha! Alright, we got scrap. And this is now looted. So it's probably going to remove the waypoint from my map. 
So yeah, that's the thing. In a post-apocalyptic world, if there were no... Think about it. There's not enough electricity. Therefore, there's no internet. There's none of that infrastructure. They'd have to go back to old school technology, which is what they did in the Mad Max movie. So they're looking for, like, you know, m metal old school cars are what would dominate. That's what they're trying to build here. They're trying to build an old, you know, dependable car that'll run on fossil fuels and not have to worry about all this technology shit in it. The most basic of the basic motor technology. Alright, so here we go. Graphics are good, even though it's only 30 frames per second. Look at the details, great. Lighting effects, look, there's day to night lighting, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> nice open world roaming. It's a nice touch. I had no idea the game was even a third person action game. I thought maybe it was a first person shooter or something. Alright, we're off. The one thing I do have to say, oh shit, fuel is low. Huh. Find fuel for the magnum opus over here. Aha. That's the fuel gauge. Okay, gotcha. Over there! Fuel cans! Okay. What I don't understand is why didn't this game come out when the movie was new? You know what I mean? Like, that would have been perfect. People probably would have bought the game, saw the movie. Now it's kind of like... At least the movie's on demand now, but it's still kind of awkward to me. It came out so late. Oh, we got other stuff to scavenge. Scrap. Another scrap. Well, shit. <clears throat> we got no gas. Whoever was here is long gone now. Long than anything of use. We got no gas. How is this car moving? What prizes do you hold? Now we're officially out of fuel. She's out of gas. Hello. <laughs> Super uppercut. <laughs> the hefty uppercut. Oops. Hopefully we can do good stuff with all this scrap we're collecting. Alright, more stuff to steal. Once again, basically just robbing these people's homes. You know, this is their legal property and we'll just take that shit. Fuck it. I guess that's what happens in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Just take whatever you need. Fuck it. What's yours is mine and what's mine is also mine. So fuck you. Fourth there. Man. Ignite it. Ignite the can. Refuel. All the way to the brim. Here we go. That's probably the only full can of gas we'll ever find in the entire game. How much you want to bet? Praises, she's full. <laughs> but let's bring an extra. Or blowing something up. Uh. Store fuel can in the magnum opus. Oh, there's another one. That wasn't there. Was that? That wasn't just there. It appeared out of nowhere. Okay. I didn't see two. I thought there was only one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It reappeared. What the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> okay then. Store the fuel can. Now let us make haste before the nightly hunters return to their lair. All right. They're going to be pretty pissed when they come back. They see we fucked everything up. Look at that. There's even, like, little dust coming out of the, the edges of the, the, the ground and stuff. Look at that. That's sweet, man. I don't know. I grew up in an era, you know, when games had, didn't have graphics anywhere nearly as good as this, so... Oh shit! Whoa! Almost popped a tire. Nobody around. Their gate unguarded. That's a mean sight. 
Huh? One glass should split it wide open. So they want me to use the gas? So let's make this one count. Okay. Here we go. No. Ignite. Throw. Okay. How do I do this? Uh... I guess I gotta ignite it, maybe. Yup, okay. <laughs> Exaltation! Just can't open! Okay, then. We must hurry. Wardens of this place murder on sight! The Graveyard! New location. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. The, the fiends that tend this oh, giant bone. Don't like strangers! Oh god. It's booby traps. Here they got booby traps set up. Look at this. <laughs> what the hell? My car's like slid, power slid. More traps are hit. Around the traps. Slow and steady. God damn it. What the hell? Look at the screen. What look what happened? It like broke my view. <laughs> How bizarre. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well that was close. Phew. Okay, anything else? <clears throat> oh shit! Oh yeah! Holy fuck! Whoa! Damn! Almost there! Is this it? The fuck was that? Stuff falling off the sides. <laughs> Weird. There! <laughs> Our prize, right for the taking! Go, go quickly! The only way to get up there is through those cave tunnels! Oh, great. I'm sure they'll be empty and there'll be no challenge whatsoever up in there. Just an easy walk. Get the car in place down here. I'll lower the body onto it. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sure we'll be ready. All right. I guess we're... Oh, God. What is that? I guess we're going into the caves. Oh, boy.